Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadik and welcome back to part 2 of our adventure in creating random kingdoms generator for the Pros Jam 2019. Pros Jam is an amazing game jam in which you have to make something that makes something. So I created kingdoms generator. It's a simple program that procedurally generates kingdom on a 2D tile based grid. And each kingdom has a central castle, two city centers and houses. And it's free to play so have fun links in the description. But now, before starting the final and part 2 of this devlog, make sure to watch the last devlog on how we created the pixel art for this project and with some crazy simple steps to start working with pixel art. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and join us over on Discord. Sharpen your swords and let's get into today's adventure. So after finishing the art, it was time to start doing what I love and code the game because kingdoms are not built in one day. I guess in my case they did, but let's focus on the important stuff. A little backstory first. For most of my college years, I was deep in ICBC ACM, which is a global programming contest for university students, and it was based on algorithms and coding. And I was pretty good at it. I went from being just a contestant to being a coach. And coding games usually don't need a lot of algorithm to work. So for me, to be back in this world and using way too many clever solutions to code this project brought me back to memory lane. I'm excited to share it with you, but one thing at a time. I started by dividing the generator into small problems. And here are all the problems. First of all, we need to create the island. Two, we need to customize the island by adding trees and mountains. Three, we need to build walls for each of the kingdoms. And four, we have to fill those walls and create the kingdoms by creating the central castle, the houses and all that stuff. Five, we need to start coloring the flags of the kingdoms and make each one of them unique by a small touch. Before all that, we need to get the camera working so we can show the whole map without the camera going outside the border and showing the ugly unity background. After that, I went to bed and had a good night's sleep and started hustling in the morning. A small notice, this video is going to be a bit more technical. I'll try my best to explain the algorithms and the steps as simple as I could. And before tackling those steps, I wanted to get a working camera system that can zoom in and out and move all around the map. And I have to say this part was a bit tricky, but with some math tricks I was able to get it up and running. So now it was time for my first problem. We need to create some type of procedural generated island. And the best way to do that is messing around with some noise pattern. I started implementing the Berlin noise, but was not very pleased with the result, so I turned around for a new clever solution and that is using something called Conway Game of Life. Conway presents a way to see how cells evolve in a small area and this rely on two stages the starting stage and birth slash death stage. So we start by making the full map as a C and start moving on each tile. Each tile will have 50% chance of becoming a land. By that finishing the first step generating a full 2D grid with a C with dotted islands on it, or dotted lands you can say. The second step starts by the same, going all over the map, each tile, and take a 9x9 nine nine grid around each one, and count how many lands in that grid. If the center of that grid is an island, it will die if the sum of lands around it is less than 3, and if the center is C, it will be converted to land if the sum of lands around it more than 4 or 3. So. On that, we repeat it like 5 to 6 times and we will start to see a shape of an island get generated each time it gets repeated. But if you repeat it too much, the map will turn or land and the sea is gone. And by that, we finished the step 1 of our program and it's time to start step 2. Let's fill this massive land with trees and mountains. For step 2, also I got some cool idea to create my own noise pattern. The pattern was simple to figure out because I wanted the forest to be denser in the middle and getting lighter when going to the border. So the pattern was in the shape of the circle. The closer you are to the center, the higher the chance. And then I went around the island, I chose around 20 random places and placed this pattern on it. And also I did the same with mountains but with smaller circles. And this small trick helped me to shape the island with trees and mountains which turned out to be really great. Also, in the meantime I finished coding the tile system so the game can choose the perfect tile shape 
for each land depending on its surrounding sea tiles. It's time for strip 3, building the walls. After dividing them up to areas, I want to start figuring out the algorithm and I settled on building a small and simple backtracking algorithm to build the wall a chunk at a time. For you who don't know what a backtracking algorithm is, it's simple. It's kind of algorithm that go around most of the solutions to find the first available one. It's mostly used to solve mazes and small problems, but it's not optimal in any way because it simply tries everything out and it's slow. And you can see that by trying my game out, it's a bit slow between a map and a map. In my case for creating the wall, I give the algorithm a wall length of 3 or 4 and let the algorithm place it in one way. Then for the next piece, it can be placed up, down, left or right from the final point of the last piece. And the algorithm don't stop until it can generate a full wall from the starting point and back to it. And I run this algorithm 3 to 4 times for each kingdom to find the longest generated wall and save it. And by the end of that, we will have walls up and running. Whew. It's a hard project, but I love it. Now, it's time to fill them up and start constructing the cities, villages, town centers, castles, all that stuff. Of course, and add the gates. To locate the areas inside the wall, it's pretty simple and by yet, using another type of algorithm called float fill. And this algorithm is very simple, very basic. We go over the whole map and label all areas with numbers for each kingdom, using the walls as boundaries. This also uses a very similar approach to the last algorithm by moving over the whole tiles and labeling them if not labeled, and move in all directions to label all adjacent tiles. So when they hit the wall, they stop. And when they reach an area inside the wall, so they are bound by the walls. After fighting the tiles in each kingdom, I chose three random points for the castle and the two town centers and then I filled the rest with village houses. And the coloring step was pretty easy because each kingdom have a number so it was just moving around the map and putting the colors on the flags for that number. And colors were generated randomly each time of course. And by that the project is finished and was ready for submission to the jam. But I wanted to add more to it because with this type of project you have to have a seeding system and that is what I ended up doing in the end. And now it's easy to go through the seed and also saving the one you like to be generated again whenever we want. And I'm looking forward to see what kind of crazy seeds all of you will find and post them in the comments below. Then I set up everything from the main menu to the phone, add my social media links and I was ready to submit but of course as usual my system decided to crash and I was unable to upload the game in time. I was really upset. But from nowhere, the jam deadline was pushed 2 hours. And I was able to upload it finally. Which was really a relief. I lost some weight in the process but it's okay. So, the project now is up and running on my HIO page. Go check it out. And if you liked any seed, feel free to comment it down below. This is my first technical long video about a project and I am really proud of it and of this project too it was way too much fun learning pixel art and creating an awesome project full of creative algorithms I know my mom told me I am super modest but I am proud of that too don't get me wrong <laughs> but, but really thanks everyone who is watching this video who followed me on twitter why I was created step by step and the amazing group of people I met and I connected with on the group official discord server if you don't want to miss anything I create and my updates on current projects, make sure to follow me on Twitter too and joining our kingdom on Discord. And in the end, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you all in the next adventure.